Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Snyder's Inc. We are here with another reaction video. That's why I'm going to keep doing them this way now that I think about it, because it's way more easier, way less stressful, and way better to edit. So, it is Halloween. It is October 31st. So I'm giving you guys some scary videos. I might give you multiple in one day. Multiple in one day. Probably not though, because I'm doing this at like almost six at night. So <laughs> probably not. Probably you might get a few tomorrow though, because I got three videos going. So here we got nukes top five. You should subscribe to his channel. Love the guy's stuff, and we got top five scary ghost videos. Blah, blah, blah. Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos for Terrific Fun. It's time to get into this. Are you guys ready? No? Yes? Good, because I'm ready either way. And we begin in 3, 2, 1. So as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of horror and all things spooky. And that's why I subscribe to Shudder.com, which is by far the best horror video streaming service out there. With Shudder, you get access to great Shudder original horror movies like Superhost and the awesome new found footage movie VHS 94. You also get other great Shudder original content like three full seasons of my all-time favorite horror anthology series, Creepshow. So if you're looking for some spooky entertainment, there are literally hundreds of great horror movies and shows available on Shudder, and you can stream Shudder on all of your favorite devices. But if you're a little hesitant and maybe you're not sure, well Shudder is now offering all Nuke's Top 5 viewers a special deal to check it out. If you sign up with the code NUKE, that's N-U-K-E, you'll get an extended free 30 day trial to try Shudder and decide for yourself. It's pretty cool. Yes, it is, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm a huge fan of Shutter.com, and I think you will be too. Top five ghosts. For anyone who is interested, that is using the code Nuke, N-U-A-K-E, N-U-K-E. Yep. Um, just for a reminder, in case you forgot, in case you didn't hear it. Uh, I def I don't know much about Shutter. But if new top five would recommend it, I'd go for it. Caught on camera. Top five girls camera. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Lacey Nicole is a theater teacher at Sarasota High School in Florida. Lacey says that there have always been stories about the ghost of, quote, Shannon, a Victorian woman who is said to haunt the high school's theater. Back in 2007, during a high school production of Beauty and the Beast, many believed that Shannon the Ghost made a very unexpected appearance. And it was all captured on camera. What? Whoa. The unexplained apparition of a woman in a flowing white dress can be seen floating 8 to 10 feet above the Okay, so... Um... I don't think this is real, and the reason I don't think it's real is because the acting this thing is so weirdly done. Like, it's... there's no kind of thing going with it, there's no, um, there doesn't sound like anyone's scared or anything, if I, if I saw an apparition, 10 feet in the air, kind of flashing around, my ass is running for the door, 
You ain't seeing me just sitting there going, oh my god, that's terrifying. That might be done by the person who's recording the video, like, because they're clearly recording after playing it. So that is possible, but I did, didn't sound like there was any actual fear to me. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's real. The stage. Now it should be noted that this was in no way a part of the play. So could this be the spirit of Shannon, the Victorian era ghost that haunts the theater? Let me know what you- Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this one in particular, the ghost showing up during the play was part of the play? Or do you think it was uh, real? You think? TikTok user It's I C claims that his friends captured something very strange on their outdoor security camera. Okay. You want me to play it? Right uh, yes, right now. What the hell is that? What is that, what dude? Weird. So weird. What is that? What just flew by? A strange figure seems to walk across the street and then just seems to float up into the sky. Even weirder, then another large dark shadow seems to fly above the houses and disappear. Now, as always, I'm going to let you decide just what this could be because, well, I frankly have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. I'm trying to think what this could be. I bet there is a reasonable explanation, it just ain't coming to my mind. Could it be something paranormal? The flying or thing here could just easily be a bird. Or if you have a more logical explanation, please let me know down in the comments. Strange things happen here. Are these bones? My bad for that. Oh god, what's happening here? What's happening here? Go on. Paranormal Nightmare. Ten years ago, paranormal investigators and brothers Josh, Sean, and Rocky Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series went out to investigate the allegedly haunted Sullivan Johnson Museum in Hardin County, Ohio. Built in 1896, the elegant three-story museum was once the private home of the Sullivan family, who lived there for over 80 years. It is said that the ghosts of several members of the Sullivan family still wander the haunted halls of the museum to this day. The Foreman brothers attempt to make contact with any spirit that might inhabit the building. Their EVP recorder captures some strange and disturbing messages. We mean you no harm. Like I said, we're just here doing an investigation. Are you in here? But that's not all that the investigators capture at the Sullivan Johnson Museum. When they head down into the basement, they see something downright chilling. Anybody down here? Jesus Christ. Did you see that? Yeah. Tell him to go. Did you see it? As the brothers turn a corner, they almost walk right into what appears to be the small, dark apparition of a child. And its face is just... Right there. No, I didn't notice that multiple times. Um... That could be fake though, for if it's a TV series, they do like to fake their stuff to get um, people to pay attention. But uh, it could also be real, because they don't actually address it, so, which I would think they were first TV wise. Just does not look quite human. But what do you think this bizarre figure could be? Could it just be a very odd trick of the light? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch many more amazing and creepy paranormal investigations over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare 
TV series. Anybody down here? Jesus Christ. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Graveyard Shift. Now this next creepy video went viral in the Philippines and hundreds of Nukes Top 5 viewers were nice enough to send it in to me. So it definitely deserves a spot in this week's Top 5. So, late one night a security guard from Davao de Oro, Philippines is patrolling a university campus all alone. Suddenly bizarre and unexplained things begin to happen. And the frightened guard takes out his phone and starts recording the terrifying paranormal activity. It's uh... Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, so ngayong gabi uh, mag-roaming ako. So, check natin yung mga uh, office. Saka sa likod nitong building na to, check natin kasi may mga ano dyan, mga gamit dyan. So, ating oras is uh, 12, 12, 17. So, yan, natin to. Ayan guys, yung tabak ko ito, sobrang nilim. So, ayan, masukin natin yan. Sa uh, tandahan. Ayan. Whoa! Door just closed. Now, you could have had someone there to do that for him, but, you know. Maybe. So, nakabahan ako guys. Oh no, he didn't want. Oh no, never mind. See, if I slam, see, I know. I, this is a thing you see a lot of things. Well, someone's in a graveyard, or some like they're in a hospital, or some weird haunted thing, and then something happens, but they stick doing it because it's their job. Nah, not my style. No, 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 no. I'll, figure, I'll quit my damn job. I'll, I'll lose my job if means getting away from my haunting. Door slams near me, I'm running for my life if I don't know who's in it. Oh my god! So check natin yung... Ito! So yun guys, narinig mo yun. Yun, narinig ko ngayon guys na naka-on yung... Naka-on yung... Ano? Yun. Yun guys, yung... Kita na yung mga... Yeah, if I can. Yun guys. I don't see it. Oh, I just found Oh, 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 all of those chairs are moving forward. I think the only way I could see that happens is if one had this chair, like the last one, and is pushing it. All of them again, all of them will go. But how could someone push this and no one be there? So, grabe yung so kailangan natin i off yung ano. Oh my god! I have nothing. I have no explanation. I have no explanation. If you guys got one, let me know. I got nothing. I need to get, I'll just say get the hell out of there. You need to get out of there. I appreciate him entering that room though, because he stopped my thing. Because my thought was, oh, he's clearly in, someone's in there pushing the thing. Now I'm in hand in that room, there's no one in there, no chairs are still moving. Dude! 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 Oh my god! So, 
bekas Abi yang Pendingan belah ibu ko. Oh my god Kita ni naman guys yang Ini guys A door opens and slams. Holy shit. Shut. Ceiling fans turn on by themselves. And most horrifying of all, classroom chairs slide across the floor in all directions. So could it be that this university in the Philippines is haunted? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? That's a hell of a hoax. I don't know you decide. I don't know how he's pulling the hoax off if he's do if that's what is happening here. Because I cannot figure out how those chairs are moving. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Tunnel vision. Okay. Popular urban explorer Chris Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back, exploring another creepy abandoned location in his home state of Ohio. Okay. This time he travels to the Molly Stark Sanatorium, a beautiful sprawling hospital built in the 1920s for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of the hospital patients did not survive their stay and passed away from their terrible illness inside these hospital walls. In 1995, the sanatorium was closed for good and the structure was left abandoned. The hospital was said to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of past patients. Despite the spooky stories and legends, Chris Hill is intent on exploring the historic building and makes his way inside. Chris soon begins to feel like he might not be alone inside the old building. Chris quickly turns off his light as he believes he hears someone nearby, but he dismisses the sound as potentially just his imagination. So he turned the light off for about 10 seconds, then turned it back on. Okay. And continues on exploring. Deep in the basement of the sanatorium, he finds a winding concrete tunnel system. Again, the urban explorer hears something. Chris is exploring all alone when he hears the last thing that you want to hear when you're down in dark tunnels beneath an allegedly haunted sanatorium. Footsteps in the dark. Now a bit freaked out, he nevertheless decides to continue through the tunnel. That's when things take a terrifying turn. Are you still going? You you saw someone in some form with a ghost and not that he and you're still going? What? Get out of there! There's somebody down here. Then get out of there!
what he saw is this thing. That's what he saw in his thing, because... Right? Footage is bright and we can see that something seems to be coming towards Chris. So that I'm more confused how he would see that. Cause in darkness I would no way see a person come to me without like a light or anything. Eh. But then suddenly disappears. But most horrifying of all, Chris follows and discovers that the tunnel is a dead end and whoever or whatever he saw had no place to go. The explorer is now creeped out and has had enough of the spooky sanatorium. Well, there were places to go because there, there were holes up there. We could have had like a hideout. But when he tries to find his way back out of the tunnels, this happens. What the f***? will not believe this. Light His light dead. Oh no. <sighs> nah, this is some bullshit. I'm using a fing cell phone light. Oh, oh my fing. Oh gosh, I'm so glad if I'm, I'm going to leak the full time in this. Oh gosh, I'm just. Oh my gosh, I'm just glad if I'm going to leak the full time in As Chris is frantically searching for an exit from the dark tunnels, Chris's camera light dies at the worst possible time, even though the battery was fully charged. So with only the dim light from his cell phone to guide him, he finally manages to find his way back out. So did Chris capture the apparition of one of the hospital's deceased patients roaming the dark underground tunnels? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full two-part I think this is a person who hides in the hospital and, uh, and uses the tunnel as their way to hide from people when they know they're in here. And then he found that little, he saw that uh, Urbex Hill went up the, uh, down the tunnel, so he just had a little hideout hole that he hid in. Exploration and many more videos of abandoned historic locations over on the YouTube channel. Wait, by the way, not saying that just makes that fake, that just makes that even more actual freaking terrifying. Urbex Hill. The Haunting of Eric Gunner. Popular YouTuber Eric Gunner claims that he has had some terrifying paranormal encounters at his home in Mexico. Eric recently purchased and moved into a new home. Bizarrely enough, the woman who previously owned the house left most of her belongings behind. Eric says he has no idea what happened to the woman, but he also says that he didn't really ask many questions because he got the house at a very good price. That's where it all starts, man. No matter what, if a woman, if there is a man who cheat the prices, whatever, always get as much information you can get when buying something. But soon after moving in, Eric is awakened one night by. Especially a house, because you know, especially if the person leaves their stuff there, ask some questions. There's strange sounds coming from downstairs. He's worried that someone might have broken into the house. And to make matters worse, the power is out and he can't seem to get a signal on his phone. He grabs a flashlight and records with his phone as he fearfully goes to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> I took a step. I think I never saw my house. 
que es donde reciente me mudé. Hasta miedo me da gritar hola. usa todo, 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 todo hasta allá imagínense qué tan grande está o sea, real, real es todo este pedazo ay cabrón seguro se grabó Eric doesn't notice but as he descends the staircase the voice of a woman can be heard saying atrás or in English back Or perhaps go back. Me choco su teléfono. Atrás, 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 atrás. And then when he heads back up the stairs, the same voice seems to say, Subi, or go up. Sube, sube, sube. Then his blood runs cold because as he looks toward the end of the hallway, he sees someone. Once staring back at him, now very freaked out, he reluctantly goes over to investigate. No, But there's no one there. Cut. Quitting smoking is f hard. Starting to quit doesn't have to be. Start stopping with Thrive. Cut to a month later and Eric is awakened in the middle of the night again, this time from the sound of someone knocking on his bedroom door. Wait a minute, did this guy make a ch new channel and censor his fa La verdad sí pienso mucho en si bajar o no porque le volvieron a pegar. Si vuelven a pegar voy a abrir. Entonces les estaba diciendo otra vez. How can someone be knocking on the door? And no one be there. Thank 
¿Cómo es posible que alguien corra tan rápido? Someone is knocking, but when Eric opens it, again, no one there. Since the ladder to the attic is right outside his bedroom door, Eric decides to check up there. Oh, no. And it did not go well. Good. Oh, no, don't go up the attic. I don't la primera vez que subo hace un buen de frío aquí Ese lazo se está moviendo. Y aquí hay otro cuarto, ¿ya vieron? Bueno, ya vimos, ya vamos para abajo. No, o sea, de verdad que yo no, no entiendo por qué está pasando esto. Muchos me decían que no, que es que había sido por lo de la chica esta, de todo lo que había pasado. Escucho un ruido ayer. Oh, Eric hears a sound coming from the attic, and when he looks up, he sees a horrific distortion. Oh. He sees a. Horrific distorted face staring back at him. Terrified, Eric runs and hides in his bedroom and he stays there for the rest of the night. Eric later discovers that his pet parakeet passed away inside its cage that very night. And so, he now fears for the life of his little dog. He decides to just pack up his stuff and move out of the house for good. You can check out more of Eric Gunner's strange... Good choice. Um... Animal number one priority. And was if you're not yourself, yeah, it's have to be number one priority.